Hi guys, this food in my hand may be a daily thing for us, but for more than 345 million people, they can't even get this basic need. To solve hunger, we must ensure everyone has safe, nutritious, and sufficient foods as defined in food security. The question now is, how science can build the perfect farm to enhance food security? To answer the question, let's speak to two inspiring professors. Han Qi, can math enhance food security? Yes, I believe that math can feed the world. You see, math is inseparable from precision agriculture, a farming management concept that based on observing, measuring and responding to inter and intra field of variability in crops. Statistical analysis techniques, mainly regression analysis, clustering and classification techniques helps to identify pattern data which could be used to predict you and assess the effectiveness of practice. A study done by Stanford University displayed the application of convolution neural network in satellite tasking to predict food security outcomes. What do you guys think about this? Convolution neural network, also operated as CNN, uses the similar operating mechanisms as the neurons in our visual cortex, where each of the neurons corresponds to a specific region inside an image and is assigned with a unique weightage. CNN is used to identify patterns and recognize objects at a faster rate. Thanks for the insight, Jun Tian. So, how does biology play a role too? In biotic and biotic stresses, such as pests, pathogens and droughts, are a major challenge to agriculture. Transgenic crops are a solution to this. In layman's terms, Transgenic probes are produced by inserting a strand of DNA, encrypting the stress resistant traits into the DNA of the cell and culture the resulting new cell. Agriculture chemistry studied the compositions and reactions involved in the production, production, and use of livestock and crops. Hansi, what are some notable examples of chemical technology in enhancing food security? One amazing invention is University Putra Malaysia researchers' liquid biofertilizer formulation, which can accelerate the process of composting and decomposition of organic matter, producing high quality of organic fertilizer. Moreover, this fertilizer can be produced in a short time, between 24 and 48 hours. Soil feeding is at the heart of soil and water conservation. It plays a vital role in sustainability agriculture. What are the applications of soil physics? Polyculture is the practice of growing more than one crop species at the same time, at the same place, attempted to mimic the diversity of the natural ecosystem. One example of polyculture is contour plowing, where crops are planted along the lines of consistent elevation. This practice helps to trap rainwater runoff and reduce topsoil erosion. Now, we are at the perfect farm in the future. This may seem like an ordinary tomato, but it is actually transgenic, which is more pest resistant, climate resilient, and even more nutritious. In the soil, thousand sensors are collecting data using wearable rig technology to apply optimum dosage of fertilizer. In the air, drones are replacing humans to spray fertilizer. But the perfect farm does not stop here. Over to you, Jun Tian. Food production and delivery efficiency can be increased using SWARM technologies, which is the coordination of multiple robots in the system. Chemistry also takes part in food packaging. Petrosen, a biopolysaccharide, acts as an antimicrobial agent to produce thin firms for food packaging. This can improve the storability of perishable foods and increase their shelf lives. In conclusion, it takes biology, physics, math, and chemistry to enhance food security. Through the integration of all of these science fields and the support from investors and government, we can feed the world with science.